Now this is all I'm doing with this car. This, this is what I'm doing, I just take it. Everybody's got that one friend that's a bad influence. Fortunately, unfortunately for me, I have several. I saw a car a few months back on Facebook Marketplace. I saw a Rusty Wallace Miller Genuine Draft, and it was actually listed as a left turn car, like it was just a normal stock car. And immediately when I saw it, the car looked really nice, probably a display car, didn't think anything about it. The car was online for about a month, went away. Yeah, must have sold it, didn't think anything about it. Kinda neat, not the biggest Rusty fan, I mean, it's okay. A couple months later, it goes by, and that friend, I opened the text up he sent me, and then seen the little link from Facebook. Rusty Wallace Road Course Stock Car, must sell. It's the same car again. He goes, man, we need this. We, like I gotta wrap my pocket, we need this. I'm like, no, sounds like you need it. I don't need anything with a race car. I grew up in a racing family. My grandfather raced, my father raced. Race cars are losing propositions. I'm into making money with cars, not losing money with cars. And I know what my friend's getting at when he sends me things like this. Hey, this would be a cool project for your channel. And he's already like got matching, you know, like team jackets in his mind and things. I'm not that guy. I'm the cool hot rod guy, not the cool race car guy. He goes, yeah, man, it'd be a cool car to flip. You know, it's a road course car. Somebody want it. And it was priced a little better. He goes, shoot that guy a message, man. See what it'll take for it. So I sent him a message. He inquired back. Back and forth, back and forth. He was telling about the car. He said he's a big Rusty Wallace collector. Lots of die casts, race suits. He's a fan. He got the ultimate Rusty collectible. He's got this Rusty Wallace road course stock car. And he did a full, because you got to think about it. When they're done with stock cars, then the lower ranks get them. He gets the car and does a complete cosmetic restoration of it and puts it back to its 1992 glory days down to the super speedway front end and all the Miller Genuine Draft decals and even the in-car camera decals in the right spot, everything. The car was actually really slicker than most stock cars when they were new. And this car was really raced. It wasn't a display car, it was a real road course car. Matter of fact, looking at the frame on it, you can tell it was a real road course car. They hit real walls and things. So it had the 358 in it. He said it ran. It hasn't ran in a couple years. It sat in their garage. They downsized. Wife's on my ass. I need to sell it. I did the Ed Bolian thing. I offered him half of what he was asking for it. He said, I don't know if I can take that or not. And I said, well, it's no big deal. You know, I'll just go find me a nicer NASCAR roller and just buy that. No big deal. No harm. He messaged me back. He said, when can you get it? I said, I can have a trailer there in about three hours. He goes, sold. Well, I'll text my buddy. I said, well, we got us a race car scooter. He said, awesome, I'm going to go get it. He picks this thing up himself, and he, he hooks the trailer to his truck, and he, he, he gets this car, and keep on this thing's like so low to the ground, it's, and it's adjusted all down, so it looks, got that mean look to it. Well, the only problem is, we were running up on, the, we weren't, but he was, running up on boards. Like, they had to go to Lowe's and get wood to load this thing up on an open car trailer because it's so low. He calls me up and he goes, man, this thing is so cool. He said, we stopped at the gas station. There's people taking pictures with the car. He's like, man, this is just killer. He said, you know what I'm going to do? He said, I'm going to get this thing back to the house. I want to get it in shot. We're going to get it running. The next day, he gets down to his house with it. And sure enough, within a few hours, he sends me a video. And she's sitting there running, hood straight up on it. Old 358, just counting them off. He said, we're fixing to take her on her first test drive. And he sends me the video of this car going down the road, which is very cool. I mean, a stock car going down the street is just neat in general. And I'm thinking to myself, red sale. So this is why I hate racing. Let me reiterate. Racing is for f***ing losers. Period. My phone rings. I got that video and had it just long enough to send it to my buddy Kobe, send it to Matt the camera guy, and I'm typing, check that bad boy, and my phone starts ringing. It's my buddy. He goes, did you get the video? I said, yeah, man, I love it. He goes, we got a problem. I'm sitting on the side of the road in that car. He goes, when I dropped it in second gear and I took off out of sight, he said it was running better than it ever did. And then the oil pressure dropped and the motor locked down. I got a rollback coming to pick it up. I said, hey, ain't no big deal. It happens. You know, we didn't buy it knowing this thing's going to be a good motor in it. We just knew it ran at one time. So it really wasn't nothing he particularly did. He tried. 
you know, and, and, and he, he succeeded. He got it running, you know, he made it six miles, which is scary because he drove a stock car six miles on the street in Alabama without anybody saying anything about it. They get the car back to his shop. It's Saturday night. You know, about 10 o'clock, my phone rings. He goes, man. I said, so what do you think we're doing with this stock car? I said, I'll tell you what, let's clean it up. I'll send a transport guy down Monday to pick it up. I said, let's film with it. All we need is pretty. I don't need to drive it, and we'll sell it just like it is. Nice road course car. She goes left, she goes right, it goes straight. So I'm posting pictures of this thing on social media. I post my little video, my little glory video of it just before it shit the bed. Well, next thing you know, I mean, like, 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 heart, 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 heart. Oh my God, it's a rusty car. Oh my God, da, da, da. Should have got a Dale car. Well, then next thing you know, Freddie inquires about the car. He goes, man, I'd like to own that. And I'm thinking to myself, I would love for you to buy it. And while I'm talking to Freddie, I get another notification. Casey, get it and we'll have some racing fun. And then someone, before I could even comment, a smart ass comment on it, someone beat me to it and said, why you want him to buy it, Casey? You scared to race rabbit? And then Casey gets off on this tangent. I've raced with Bill Elliott and I'm this, this, and this, and blah, blah, blah. Like I said, I'm not falling for it. This is a losing proposition all the way around. We're going to do something with a race car he's never done. That's take home a paycheck. That's the only way you win in racing. I woke up just like I do every Sunday morning and you know, made a cup of coffee, got ready. About 10, 30, 11 o'clock, my phone starts ringing. Ha, 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 can I FaceTime you? Sure, it's running. The race car is running again. He had a small block Chevrolet. They had in Florida, they pulled out, they did an LS swap on a car down there. And he goes, I felt bad, and I thought I forgot I had this motor. So we swapped the motor. And keep in mind, changing the motor in a stock car is relatively easy. There's not a lot going on in there. So they worked all night long swapping this thing over and getting this motor in it, and it's running again. And now they're driving it. They drove it to the gas station, filled it up, drove it around, made sure everything was all right with it all day Sunday. My transporter was there Monday, drove it up on the trailer, Drops it off. We get it dusty dark Monday night at the warehouse. I'm the only one there. He fires it up. You know, naturally, I didn't want to get in. You know, I, I didn't attempt to get in first. So my transport guy, he hops in and flipping switches, puts the steering wheel on, you know. Well, he puts the steering wheel on first, but you know, he flips all the switches. Hear the electric fuel pump come on. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Just fire. Just the side exhaust, just rattling the ground. No mufflers. Puts it in reverse and backs it off, eases it off the trailer. My inner trailer part comes out. This is the first time I've saw this car in person. I pop the steering wheel off, hop my fat ass in there. It's pretty cool. Well, by this time, it's getting dark. So obviously, I got a car with no lights on it. And not street legal. I probably shouldn't be driving this thing around. You know, so I fire it up again. I'm kind of backing onto the warehouse a little bit and just checking it out and all this stuff and texting Matt, my camera guy. You know, and he's he's like, he's like, it's cool, isn't it? I said it is. I said we gotta get rid of this thing, like now. This is bad. This is this is like the gateway drug. You know, we get it backed into position. We get ready to film. I come in a little early. Matt and Kobe are already there, walking around, circling like a damn shark. We fire it up. We zip it down the road. The little neighborhood back behind the warehouse. I gave him a little good morning wake up call with it. And sure enough, you know, I mean, it, it's a tire fryer. It just slings around, and it's like the biggest go-kart you've ever driven. And it's actually remarkably tight, like how it drives. Like, it's not what I thought it'd be like. Kind of went ahead and put it up before we got the cops out there. Got in position, we filmed with it. All that went great. And my buddies called me, he goes, you drive it yet? I said, I did. He goes, you like it, don't you? I said, I do. I said, we need to get rid of this thing. You remember those like drug commercial or uh, public service announcement commercials about drugs back in the day? Like, hey, come on, you want to try this? That's what this race car is. It's like that entry, like that gateway drug thing. I'm like, we need to get rid of this thing. This is trouble. He goes, how about if we had the world's fastest street legal stock car? American flags, bald eagles, Rusty Wallace. I mean, it'd be cool. And there's a selling point for street legal stock cars. They're, they're, they're neat. He told me what he thought about doing for a power plant. And this guy, this guy has a shop that builds $100,000 hot rods and fabrication work like no other. And then there's some stock car tidbits that we need to update the car a little bit. Well, it just so happens. My camera guy worked in NASCAR for 20 years. Everybody starts coming, then Kobe. I used to race and I got this, this, and this, and we do this and we got this. The next thing you know, we're like a little damn team. And it's like the get along gang. It, literally, I have a 
money pit that I'm just sitting there. Like right now, this is all I'm doing with this car. This, this is what I'm doing, I just take it. Just throw money at it. And my buddy's doing the same thing. And we're calling, you know, we got Mooresville calling and we've got Alabama calling and we got all this stuff going in, you know. Tuner's calling, this is calling. We got these shocks coming in, we got this, we got this. God help me, I got a race car. But it's gonna be fun. The car's changed dramatically since anybody's seen it last. But it really is much trash as I've talked about owning race cars. And now I'm a part of this. It just goes to show you right now, that friend that's the bad influence, Stay away from them. We'd like to thank Avalon King for their continued support of the VinWiki YouTube channel. From crazy projects like Casey's King Zero to shooting derelict AMG cars off of a cliff in Alaska, they're interested in a whole lot more with respect to the automotive hobby than just making our cars look great. But the ceramic coating is awesome and you can get it with for $25 off at the link in the description below. So be sure to check it out, try it on your car, let us know what you think in the comments and let them continue to support idiots like us.